There's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. Here's the latest on the Olympia real estate market for October 2022. Our local meteorologist, Abby Acon, had a great quote this morning when she reported this week's temperatures are much colder than normal. She said, there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing choices. And that's true with real estate as well. There's no such thing as a bad real estate market. There are financial opportunities whether the market is declining or rising. It's your choice on how you're going to capitalize. Whether you are a buyer or a seller right now, here are the stats and what they mean to you. The trailing 12-month median home price in October for Thurston County was $498,548. This is up 12% from last October. Considering the historic average gain is 5-6% to per year in our area, these last few years have been phenomenal for sellers. In looking at home prices month per month, home prices have dipped a little since the peak in June when the median sales price was $525,000. For buyers, not only have prices come down, but buyers have more choices in inventory, less buyer competition, and better contract terms. The month of October ended with 608 homes for sale. Buyers have lots of home choices. Although standing inventory has increased, it has not increased nearly enough to shift the market from a seller's market to a balanced market or a buyer's market. The market is firmly rooted in a seller's market. The big news for October is only 356 new listings came to the market. This is a 35% drop and is lower than the last nine Octobers. But what is very interesting here is the large drop in new listings is right in step with demand as the market also saw a downturn in pending sales. Pending sales are down significantly from past Octobers. This October, 332 buyers succeeded in having sellers accept their offers. While the headlines focus on this large drop in pending sales, they don't report the other side of this, and that is the large drop in new listings coming to the market. This is important to note because the new listings, supply, and the pending sales, demand, are in lockstep with each other. This is keeping the market in a seller's market and will result in home prices continuing to rise, but at a more reasonable rate than these last few years. Interest rates have been volatile. At the end of October, the national average for a 30-year fixed rate loan was 7.08%. In the first week of November, rates dipped to 6.95% and everyone got all excited, but this week, they're back to 7.08%. Interest rates have put many buyers and sellers with low interest rates on their current mortgage on hold, thinking rates will go down while others are hurrying to lock in now and buy as they predict rates will go up next year but interest rates did not stop 83% of buyers in October. You'd think more cash buyers would come to the table, but in fact, the number of cash transactions in our area has remained constant at 17%. For October, listings that did not need a price reduction received an offer in 12 days on average, but sellers who priced too high initially and then did a price correction were on the market for an average of 56 days. Once they priced right for the market, they too received an offer in 12 days. This is still lightning fast considering the historic average is about 30 days. At the peak of our market, sellers were receiving offers within five days. Competition in the market is receding and we are seeing a return to normal. In just my office's transactions, 16% of the contracts had multiple offers compared to 46% last October. Just last March, 75% of my firm's transactions had multiple offers, which created a lot of frustrated buyers who didn't win and drove up sales prices. Bundle up and get out there and enjoy the season because there is no bad weather, just bad wardrobe choices. The same goes for real estate. If you are ready to find your opportunity in real estate, contact me today. In the meantime, here are a few videos of what winners are like in Olympia.